Okay, for version two, you're going to need that same 32 foot 8 mil cord and two carabiners. Okay, but this time you're going to find a center of the rope. And you're going to take that rope, the center, and put it in the first carabiner. And then you're going to take both of your lines here and you're going to tie a munter down here. Okay. So instead of a single strand, you're going to have two strands. And try to keep them nice and parallel. Okay, so this is what you're going to have. You're going to have a double munter, a two strand munter. Okay, now, once you've done that, and uh, this is going to be a little bit longer, so about 14 inches or so, because you need room to make wraps. We're going to be wrapping up these two strands. And so we start from the tail and we just start wrapping. And as you wrap, you maybe get some twists in the line. So you have to be shaking those out. And probably the main disadvantage of this method is the amount of twists that get introduced into the rope. But it does work. And it's just a little bit slower than the other version, but it's a little more simple. And by far, the, the, what takes the most time is just making these wraps. But another, another thing a load release hitch can be is a shock absorber. So, and by introducing all these wraps, um, if you were to take a shock load, it would absorb a lot of that shock because there's so much play in here. Okay, so get the rest of your twists out. Okay, now when we get to the end, I'm gonna try one more wrap here. You want to take both strands and stick it through the center right here. Okay. So once you have that, what you want to do is take a bite, stick it through there, and then you're just going to tighten all that up. It's just one big slip knot. Get it nice and snug, and you're going to be left with a big double loop here. If you want to, you can go ahead and just for added security, go ahead and tie just a half inch around the whole thing, or whatever you want to do, but uh, just to keep it more secure. Okay, so that is it. Now, to use it, very similar to the other version is the munter will go towards your load okay so we're gonna have a couple prusticks here and this other end will go on to your anchor set your prusticks okay so this is what you're gonna have and you know, lower your load onto the we can take this out of the system at this point okay and now our entire load is captured by two Prusix and our load release device and then if we wanted to convert this from a lower to a hull, we could. Or like the previous example, there's a knot or two ropes tied together. We have to get through here. Same principle. 
Okay, and again, the only something you have to be careful of with this system, if I'll go ahead and employ it here, is the amount of twists you introduce into the system. Okay, so, and the easiest way to handle that is to gather all your tails and slowly unwrap it. And the reason you coil that is to add extra friction. So if you had a really heavy load, you may want to leave several, several of these wraps. But I've got a really light load on this, so I'm going to continue to unravel it. Oh, there we go. All right, so, so at some point, these extra wraps are, are going to introduce more friction, okay, and your munter is still up here. And just a matter of transferring your load. Okay, so that's version two of a load release hitch. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so here's a third version and it's similar to the second version, but just a little bit different. And what you wanna do is again, 32 foot cord, eight mil, in thickness, find the center. Go ahead and clip it. And then on your second carabiner, what you're gonna do is do a, another munter. Okay, so. And you can use both strands for this munter. Okay, just like that. All right, now, instead of wrapping this, like the other way, what you're going to do is you're going to take both strands and you're going to lace sort of like a VT hitch and you're going to go all the way down to the end. Okay, just like this. And now you want to take your, both of your tails and tie a half hitch or slip knot, I'm sorry. Just a big slip knot with lots of tail, with lots of big loop. Okay, and cinch it down. Okay, and then with that loop, just tie a nice, healthy half hitch. Okay, just like that. Now to use this, And of all the ones I've shown you, this, this version has the potential um, to give you the fastest ride. So you have to be careful um, because there's not as many wraps, okay? But again, the munter is going to go towards the load. Clip that in. So again, if you use this version, be mindful, you don't have as many wraps, okay? Set your Prusix, okay? So let's get all our lines clean here. Okay, let's go ahead and transfer our load. load release hitch and again make sure you always hold on to your tail on this one because you don't have as many wraps okay okay now just like a VT if you'll push up on these Wait, 
take some of these out because the load is pretty light. Okay. There we go. And there we there. You can see it going now. Okay. I only have 50 pounds on this, so if you had a lot more weight, it would hold a whole lot better or go faster. Okay. So that is another version. Okay. So that's version three. Okay, for our fourth version and final version, um, we've been using this uh, eight mil cord and we're gonna toss that aside. And we're gonna use a piece of webbing. And we're going and this is about, oh, about 12, 14 feet long, I'm not really sure, but um, we're gonna use a water knot to tie it together. And we'll go ahead and clip a carabiner where the knot is and what we want to do is we want to find the center from the knot okay so we'll put it in here and we'll clip it in just like this so at this point we got two carabiners and just clipped in and the end now, we want to take our right strand and just make a round turn. So this is what we're going to have at this point. Now we can, where we pull that round turn, pull it, and we want to pull all this up. Just like this, to where and we want to adjust it to where this knot is closer up here. And, and the total distance we want from here to here is about 12, 14 inches, something like that. So let's find the correct strand to pull. All right, see that? There we go, right there. Okay, so we have our water knot close to the top carabiner, and we have a doubled up piece of webbing down here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go inside this lower carabiner one more time, just like this. So this is what you'll have. And then we're going to start wrapping this up the hill. And now this load release device does not have a munter. Okay. So it's going to be relying strictly on the friction of these wraps. And one of the benefits of this system is that uh, once you're it's in the system you'll have a loop that say you were to let this go and your load would go flying um, it can only go as far as the length of the loop and I'll demonstrate that in a second but we just continue our wraps till we get near the top Okay, at some point you'll, you'll get close to the top and you can bisect the center, go through, and just do like a little half hitch right there. Okay. And you can just do a full half hitch. Okay. If you don't like that, you can pull that out and We'll just do a full half hitch over the whole thing. It doesn't matter. As long as your tail can't come undone. Okay. So don't get caught up in 
half edge overhand, whatever, as long as it stays secure. Okay, so there is your lub release. So we'll take this off and we'll demonstrate its use. So just like before, we'll load our Prusix and this will go into our anchor plate. Okay, tighten up our Prusix and this is what you're going to end up with. Now your tail is going to be towards your anchor. And again, this is not a munter. This is just a, these are just wraps. Okay. But we'll transfer our load. And let's, let's pretend we're going to convert this from a lower system to a haul system. Okay. This is another problem solver. This, these load releases accomplish. It allows you to do this. And I'll show you how. So let's imagine we've been lowering and mid lower, we need to transfer to a haul. So that means there's still a live weight on the end of this rope. And uh, so if you have 200 pounds on there, you've got 200 pounds and we need to convert this. So the first thing we're going to do is get the lowering device out of the system. Okay. Okay, so this is off. All right, so all of our weight is on this system here. So let's start building our whole system. Let's do a three to one. Okay, so capture this so we'll use this rescue sender which is just a mechanical grab okay okay so there's our our basic three to one okay and what we're going to do is we're going to put a press the gun here for our load capture so because when we transfer this weight it has to catch, catch on something and it's going to be this prusik here plus you would always have it in your system anyway Okay, I'm going to leave this loose just to demonstrate this for a little bit. And then we'll tighten it, let it capture. Okay. But anyway, this is our, this is our three to one. Okay. And so what we need to do now is transfer the weight onto this system. But I'm going to leave this loose just to show you how far this will go out. All right. So to use this load release, you untie it at the tail. And once you get to this point, you always want to hold on to the tail. Don't let it go. Always have one hand on it. Okay, because um, it's friction. Friction from these wraps to keep us in place. Now, again, I only have 50 pounds on here. So if this were a 200-pound load, it'd be different. Okay. So we're going to keep going until she starts moving. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to let it go. Take one more wrap off. 
Okay, so we can keep doing that until our load is transferred. But I want to show you something. What this will do is say, for some reason you dropped this, okay? So we're going to keep going. And I'm just going to let that go. You're going to see what happens here. Okay, now I'm going to control it here, but watch, watch what this webbing does. Okay, so that's as far as this will allow you to go. So that little round turn we did at the beginning, that's what accomplishes that, okay? So there's sort of a built-in safeguard. Okay, but it's okay because we got a haul system here and we're gonna use it, okay? So we got a three to one. So let's just raise this up. Okay, and as we let go, the capture, progress capture will capture. Okay, and let's just keep going. Let's get that a little closer to us. Okay, and now we can take this apart. So, anyway, in a nutshell, that's four ways you can transfer loads okay and they're all good systems oh, there's a wasp let's get him out of here um, but okay so now we're on our three to one haul system okay so that's another way we can use it these devices converting from a haul to a lower lower to a haul passing knots uh, passing bad sections of rope what have you Okay, all right, that concludes this video. Hopefully you've learned a few ways of accomplishing different tasks. So, all right, I'll see you in the next one.